Hi friends. Hello friends. It is our second day of our honeymoon retreat. It now, is not a honeymoon. Oh, anniversary retreat. Yes. Yes, thank you. But what better way to start the day than checking out the beach? It's are hard you, to see. Are you blinded by the light? I should have brought my sunglasses. Oh, I should have too. You know, I wear sunglasses all the time. You do. I know. So Let's check this beach out. It says no dog, so yeah, Gracie stinks. can't come here. We'll but we are gonna take her to a dog beach today. later on today. So let's go do this. Wow, this is stunning. So far in Florida, I think this is the longest beach to the water, isn't it? Like inland to the water. I've never had to actually cross this much sand just to get to the water i feel like we're in the desert yeah like this is definitely the longest beach we've been to and we don't we are not dressed for the water yeah not dressed for the water but it says red tide yes we made it to the waterfront look at this i'm loving it We're gonna head back inland because this is just the start of the day. I gotta get out of here. Because right, I gotta, gotta get out of here. There's dead puffer fish everywhere. There was a dead puffer fish over there. It's really two. Two and dead fishes? Dead three, two, two dead puffer fish and three dead crabs. And that is the sign I'm out. You're out? I'm I think out. it's I think it's because of the red tide. I don't know what red tide is. It sounds dangerous. We gotta get out of here. We're gonna have to find out what this red tide is that they speak of. What if it's like like that means blood if you touch the water. Blood if you touch the water. Oh we gotta get out of here. Don't leave me. You're leaving me behind. I'm leaving you behind. You guys wanna take her with you? I won't go back to that. They don't even want you. Yeah, they do. There it is. Florida red tide present. May cause eye, throat, and skin irritation. May cause coughing or sneezing. Avoid the beach if you have asthma or respiratory condition. Onshore winds or rough surf worsen its effect. Red tide is caused by a natural occurring algae. Can kill fish and other sea animals. Do not swim near dead fish or touch them. Wear shoes to prevent injuries from stepping on bones of dead fish. Keep pets away from water, sea foam, and dead fish. I gotta get out. Thank you. These little sea urchins really hurt your feet. Yeah, they bit both of us. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I couldn't even take it off. These were in my foot, but I couldn't take them. I couldn't take them off of my fingers. I had to grab like my socks. They dug and eat into you. Yeah. But the thing that I'm thinking, what? This beach was way too exotic. Oh yeah, it's not like it's not like your uh, <laughs> vacation destination. I would much prefer like a beach like like the ones we go to usually. I love this beach. Look at. Agree it's to a disagree. Full of scary bees. No. Marriage dispute. <laughs> While Veronica is on the phone with her mom, because I'm trying being to scared tell about the red tide. Look at that dolphin mailbox. That is a cute dolphin mailbox. But I I'm like trying it. to tell my mom it was almost my last minutes of life. No, the red tide was not going to get you. Yes, it was. Why are you I laughing? Think, I think the second she heard red tide, she was like, "I'm gonna die." And everybody was staring at me and I was falling. I got <laughs> okay, well on our journey from the beach, we kind of followed signs that said Moat Aquarium this way. We don't know what it is, but we're going to check it out. Because this whole entire vacation or just like, you know, road trip that we're doing, no plans at all. We oh. planned our spot and then we're gonna discover everything else for ourselves. And I'm trying to convince Veronica to stop Googling things because I kind of want to just, you know, see what happens. I so, want to know what's going on with the red tide. Oh, she's still going on about the red tide. Well, if we're going to Aquarium, I'm sure we have plenty of questions to ask. Well, I see the entrance for the aquarium. And then they have like a research laboratory entrance here. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if this costs money 
I don't know anything about this. Literally, we seen a, a sign and we're just like, here we are. But there is a whale fountain. Did you see this whale fountain? Oh yeah. Wow. Well, this is kind of nifty. Yeah. It's like an open. Like we went in and then came back out. Yeah, like an open aquarium. I like it a lot. I haven't seen anything though yet. I see a little, I see fish right here. Oh yes, yeah, some big old fish right there. Ooh, a great hammerhead shark. Oh, they have like a little shark underwater viewing area here. Oh, this is really nifty. Oh yeah, I like this. Oh wow. Look at the shark. I know, it's pretty Look at awesome. This one. That's a fish. Oh, okay. But look at them sleeping down there. That's a shark. Oh my. Look Where's at it going? Which way? That way. Oh boy. Wow. You've almost been sharked. Stingray. And we're not gonna get into this, but look at these baby sharks. Look at these happy babies. I said we're not gonna get into this. Oh look, he's got his mouth open. You can adopt one. You can adopt one? Yeah. Oh, adopt a shark. That's really nifty. I have a song for you. What's the song? Feed the fish. Show them you care. Toppins. Feed the fish. Toppins. Toppins of fish. They loved it. And they loved your song too. Oh. Look at, look at. Seahorses? Yeah. Oh! Can we get one? It's pretty cool how they have these biomedical have. laboratories. Oh yes. I like that. It's interesting. I, I love animals. I think they have a seahorse viewing area over here actually. Oh my. Yeah. Oh wait. Seahorse, seahorse Conservation Laboratory. Very cute little small aquarium and they have a manatee and sea turtle viewing area outside actually and we're gonna go see if we can take a peek over there yeah yep for some reason we couldn't find out where the manatees and the sea turtles were but oh. now i'm actually getting the directions pretty well oh. <laughs> uh i was like a little confused i was like wow they should have better signs something that tells you where you need to go huh. all right you only step on manatees and i'll only step on turtles okay. and then we cross paths all the way okay I like it. Ooh, this is a fun game. Yeah. Yes, it is. I really do like this game. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. The pace. Faster. <laughs> well, we're going to bump into each other. <laughs> Veronica is literally standing back there yelling she's not going any further because of the bees. And it's literally stopping people because they're like, what's on that pathway? Do you see those people? <laughs> She's freaking out because of the bees. You think like a snake crossed the road or something, right? You're looking like, what is she doing? <laughs> See? Oh, now she's running back to the car. We found a fearless leader to take us. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> wow, look at the size of that manatee. Or better yet, the size of that turtle. That is insane. I was trying to find the otters, but someone told me I need to go the otter way. Huh, get it? See what I did there? The otter way. Look at that little guy. Oh, he's hopping up, he's hopping up. Hey, otter. Wow. We didn't film a lot in there because there's really not a lot to film. It's very intimate, um, just small portions of aquariums. It's more of a research aquarium and everything like that, but it's very nice here. And I'm gonna go get the car to pick up Veronica over on the other side because, you know, she's not one to actually walk the beaten path. And I'm not sure how much cornier I'm gonna get with uh, these jokes. As the day goes, we'll find out. 
Hey, you want to ride? Yeah. There is bees out here like the Dickens. Bees like the Dickens. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. All right, hurry up. I'm allergic. Guess where I went while I was uh, going to get the car. Where? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> mailman and we're gonna head back into the apartment so we can grab Gracie Goo yep take her to the doggy beach she's probably like so excited I know we didn't know how far the doggy beach was from here but come it's, to find out it's an hour away even more the one girl said oh even more yeah well it's worth it Plus, it, it's worth it because Gracie is everything Gracie is the bee's knees she got me on that one. Ironically, bees are everywhere. <laughs> bee bee. Be careful. All right, we're here. We made it to the dog beach. We traveled a great distance for you, Gracie. And I think it's gonna be worth it. I think so too. Wow, look at this place. Well, you can't see anything right now, but when we get in there, you'll see. Basically, this is a completely fenced-in beach area that lets Gracie roam wherever she like. And the only part that is open is actually the water line. So, I mean, she can only go out. I mean, she can only go out so far. Okay, you're free. Wait, stop. Now you're free. You're free, the water is that way. Come on, Gracie. Gracie, come, come on. on. Let's go, Gracie! There's nowhere for you to go. I don't know why you want to go over there. That's not the water you want. That's the cleaning area. Come on. All right, we'll leave you. Bye, Gracie. Bye. Oh, here she comes. Oh, Gracie! <laughs> She's crying. Let's go for a dip. Come on, Gracie. Come on, Gracie. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Let's go. Look, it's so fun. Yeah. Come on, honey. Come on, Both coming in the water. Are you going to come join us? You coming? Gracie. Hey, there she is. Come on, Gracie. Gracie, Goo, yeah, there you are, yeah. So close, come on. Come on, Gracie, go. Good girl. Come on, you want to come? We're down here standing in the doggy beach, and Gracie is literally all the way up there. Trotting around in the sand. It's get hot. Yep. It's nice and cool down here, Gracie. It is. Come on, Gracie! Yeah, Gracie! Come here! Come on, honey! Come on, you're so close! You can do it! She picks up speed, runs to the water line. Yes, yes, oh, yes. oh, come progress. On. Come on, you can do it. Call her. Okay, good girl. Here comes a good girl. Who, me? Yes, you and her. <laughs> Who's a good girl, Gracie? Come, Come here. here. Come on, baby girl. Gracie. Gracie girl. Now 
much time to tan. Oh. Look at you! <laughs> oh, did you like that? Thanks, Mom and Dad. That was great. Yes, I went all the way. I went all the way out there, and I'm covered in sand now. So much fun. Yes, yes, you did. From the doggy beach to the brewing company. Gracie's first, first. beach, and Gracie's first bar. Woo! So this is the doggy bar. Well, the brewery. It is dog friendly. They have all these different brew beers and doggies and dog bowls and as soon as we walked in the bartender came over and gave us a treat but I am sitting here holding Gracie because she has had a very big day today her first beach her first time in a bar her first time on a road trip a lot's going on but she is a champion what a champion breed we got here. We go to this doggy bar and Gracie just wants to sit on the floor with her daddy. We're with our friend Dom. How's it going guys? On the DL Adventures. Yep. Sean. Sean, you, you see me in a lot of Sean's videos. Uh-huh. <laughs> now look at the big baby. We got the cheeky blonde. Really? That's awesome. The red. Sweet things, though. Quaker goats. Good boy, Bailey. This is named after a dog, actually. The owner's dog. It's good, cold she. Totes chocolate goats. Das Dunkel. Old Castle. And I think that this is the one that I wanted to try. What you looking at? Yeah, that's true. Then, uh, now she's getting comfy. Technically, the drone can fly. The owner brought her miles, over some treats. So I'm gonna see if one. Look at this princess right Aww. here. Now she's a mommy's girl. Cozy, yeah. isn't she? This place is amazing, and the beer is fantastic. Brewed right here, and Gip actually likes it. I really like it a lot. And it's not but light. Look at this. Oh, Aren't crap. they so cute? Dom actually works here. Yep. So he's got the DL. I mean, he's the one who told us about this whole oh God, awesome on place. The on the DL! Oh! Look at that! And it's pretty cool. They even have a food truck out back that is serving up hamburgers on Wednesdays. And they have also other things, but they brew all the beer actually in-house. And I want to show you some of the cool things. Wow! Isn't it awesome? And then here is the brewing station actually in the back. It's so wicked cool. Did I just say wicked cool? Well, that's it. That was fun. Yep. Gracie enjoyed the water and she enjoyed the beach. What a great anniversary, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we're done. So, love the life you live. Live the life you love. We'll see you next time. Toodaloo. I love you. Bye.